My name is Sarah Taylor Silverwood and I'm an artist. Um, my practice is based in drawing and ha like is a range of media including drawing, print, animation and ceramics. When I first moved to the area, it was about 10 years ago I think, and uh, the, one of the first galleries that I'd been to was the New York Gallery Warsaw and I was really overwhelmed by this like incredible collection that they had and the architecture of the building, the Garvin Ryan collection and the kind of range of work that they had and also all the personal stories that are threaded within that. So it was somewhere that I was visiting really regularly just to, um, in my own time. So when I was then invited to do a residency with the gallery, it was something that I just jumped at the chance to do. The residency at New Art Gallery Warsaw was, um, it was an amazing time because I had five months to have a studio and be there full time and the gallery were really open to me using that space in any way I wanted so I began working on the walls of the space and uh, using that as a space to create these kind of big murals around the work that I was making um, and that was really freeing for me just to have that process of uh, working with drawing on a really large scale without uh, any kind of end point to it. At the end of the residency I'd made this series of drawings about Kathleen and Sally and kind of inspired by a lot of the uh, research that I'd done in the archive at the gallery um, and I'd made this new body of drawings which were really kind of questioning how much you can know about these two people through an archive and through their kind of personal documents but also they were quite unusual characters they were quite unusual for women, women of their time and the kind of representations of them through the archive um, portrayed them in a certain way a lot of the time so the drawings were really questioning the use of an archive and the representations of womanhood in that from that time from that era the drawings are all ink drawings which are made on uh, layers of uh, different sorts of paper mainly drafting paper and they're also uh, using kind of collage pieces of magazines from the same era that the archive originates. In 2015, I was commissioned by the New York Gallery of Warsaw to make a new work for their collection. And I, one thing I was really aware of that in the Garmin Ryan collection or within the gallery's entire collection, there was no portrait of Kathleen and Sally, it, you know, together. There was, a, there was portraits of them separately, but nothing of them in one image. So I created a work called the Garmin Ryan Shroud and it's a, a large work on fabric um, that depicts kind of stories from their lives and acts as this kind of ghostly portrait that actually fills that space where I think there should have been a portrait of Kathleen and Sally. The exhibition Daphne was at the New York Gallery Warsaw from uh, January to May 2019. The whole show was centred around this hand-drawn animation which told the, also had like a retelling of the story of Daphne which was a Greek myth about Daphne and Apollo. The exhibition was centred around the animation but also had various bits of sculpture and it was really looking at the way that historical stories are kind of filtered through into popular culture still today. So I think Originally I had a few meetings with the gallery and showed them the sort of work that I was making at that time and I knew that I wanted to um, make some work that looked at hand-drawn animation particularly as historically a feminist art form and I'd begun making some work in this way but it was really amazing to have this goal of having a solo exhibition, I think it must have been in 18 months time and to be able to throw my energy into making new work for that. Yeah. I think the gallery were really helpful in continuing conversations with me while that work was being made. I think because that, that space, that the architecture of the gallery is so unusual, it was really important if I was making a new body of work to have it react to that space and have the, um, the kind of narratives I was exploring in the show have a relationship with the architecture of the building so I spent quite a lot of time going back and forth and working with some members of staff there to make sure the show had this kind of fit with this space. It means a lot to have my work collected by a public gallery I think it's I really like the idea that it's in this collection that the public 
can see in exhibitions in the future and it can also be put on loan to other galleries. It's really nice to think that the work is in this thing that's kind of owned by the public, that's not hidden behind the scenes somewhere or in my studio, it's actually going to be out there and seen for years to come. For me it's kind of like a validation to have the gallery purchase the work for their collection. It also felt like the work was really made in response to the gallery and to the history of Kathleen and Sally and their work with the collection and leaving it to the borough of Warsaw. So it really felt like the work was kind of coming home for it to go back to the gallery.